just started at the top. Like, how was your uh, childhood? My childhood was pretty good. My mother and my father was together, you know, until I turned around about 10 years old. Hey YouTube, I'm here with, with Willie. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right, man. So let's just start it at the top. Like, how was your uh, childhood? My childhood was pretty good. My mother and my father was together, you know, until I turned around about 10 years old. Once I turned 10 and, and my mother and father used to argue and fuss all the time, my mother felt like it was time for her to move on. So once she moved on, man, you know, a mother bringing up a boy is not really good because there's a lot of other things that we need to learn. And men, as us being men, we need to learn, like how to uh, live on our own, how to get housing, how to do things that men do, you know? And a lot of those things that I didn't learn as, as a child, you know? And uh, being homeless is not great. It's not great at all. You have to sit on the side of the road and beg people for money. And a lot of times, man, people look at you like you dirt. You know, and I'm not actually dirt, man. I mean, I I'm a cook. I mean, a professional cook. I have cooked at Third Street Diner, University of Richmond for 13 years, Tobacco Company. You know, uh, I've cooked a lot of places, man, and I mean, I'm good at what I do. And until my addiction, once I started my addiction, I've, I've started spiraling down. And spiraling down and being on drugs, man, is not a good thing because once you started doing drugs, man, it keeps you right there. Like, say, I started doing drugs at, 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 at 20. Okay, so that's where your mind stops at. Your mind stops at, the, at, at being 20 years old. So everything that I learned when I, in that, from, from one to 20 is what I really know how to do. You know, and, and, and it's got me in a situation right now that I really can't get out of until I get my, my uh, insurance. Once my insurance set in, then I can start getting on the, on the MET program. Okay, the MET program will keep me from from craving heroin and once i stop craving that heroin man i can start doing things on my own and for myself you know but right now i have to sit on the side of the road and beg people for money and i'd rather beg for money than to go out and put a gun in my hand or, or to, to, to go up in somebody's house or go on somebody's store and and do stuff like that so sitting out here and asking for money it's, 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 it's not a good thing, but it's a, it's a better way of getting money to put in your pocket for your addiction than to go out and, and, and commit crimes and stuff like that. You know, so it's hard. You know, I lost my mother uh, February the 25th. And you know, your mother is the glue. She keeps the family together, you know. And when I lost her, man, it was, it was a, a hurting thing, man. I mean seemed like my whole world had just fell apart man once my mother passed away because I, I got three sisters and i'm the only boy and, and mom looked out for me you know she knew what i was getting the money for but she'd like like i said she'd rather to give me money than for me to go out in the street and take money or, or, or take some from somebody you know and it hurts you know it, it really hurts man that i have to be out here i see a lot of my friends like my very first girlfriend I won't call her name, but she comes through, and I know she still loves me, she comes through, and the very first time she saw me out here, man, she began to cry. She said, what happened to you? Why are you out here? I, had, I told her, I didn't, I didn't lie to her, I told her, hey, I, I'm addicted, you know, I have, a, I, have a, I have a drug problem. You know, she said, well, can't you get help? Until you want to get help for your addiction, you're gonna keep on doing what you're doing. So I told her, I said, you know, a um, lady came by the other day and, and she signed my paperwork and everything for me to, to get on uh, Medicare and everything so that I could get the, uh, get on the MET program. And uh, it's hard, man. It, it is hard. It's, it's really hard. But um, things are coming along and I, I, I think I'm progressing a little bit. I'm starting to get a little better at, at, at my addiction because now that I feel that I want to get off of it, it it's what's going to happen now. I'm going to get off. Let me ask you this like what what was some of the stuff that led you out there to like messing with drugs you flash back to what happened to you as a child and i was abused not by not by my mother or my father i had a cousin that tried to rape me and when you think about stuff like that and you think about your mother and father breaking up and everything 
that's a lot of stuff so you experiment with weed that's the gateway to, 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 to other drugs and I started using weed and everything and that led on to crack I stopped using crack then it led on to using heroin and that's where I'm stuck at right now now a lady came by the other day I, like I mentioned a lady came by the other day and she filled out my paperwork for me to get Medicare. Once I get that Medicare, I'll get off of, off of this drug, off the heroin itself. You know, uh, met is a government issue drug, but they get you on it and they wean you off of it. They start you off with 30 and then they carry you up till you feel that you're ready to start it being weaned off of it. And that's what's gonna happen. I think next week my, my Medicare should be in. She said two, it takes two weeks. So it's last Monday when she did it. It's been a week now, so next week it should be there. You know, my, my CCC is a program that, that's doing this right here. So uh, it should be, like I said, next week, I should have my Medicare and everything, and then I can go on down to the Met Clinic and start to get done on Met. But it's not, it's not gonna be long before I completely stop this right here, man, because this cycle right here, it's not good. It's not good, I'm 60 years old. You know, and it's hard for a 60-year-old person, not unless he's got paperwork stating that he's a professional cook. And I have paperwork stating that right there. But if you don't have heroin and you try to go to work, you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna do anything because you got to have that drug. And, and that's where I'm at right now, you know? That's where I'm at. Hey, Willie, man, um, I really do wish you the best. And, um, Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank and you. It's, it's really been been my pleasure. You know, we all gonna be praying for you. I hope that everybody that see this video, if they feel compelled, reach out and see if see if we could do something to be a blessing. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, no, man. God bless. God bless you too. Thank you.